So what in the world is Australian finger lime? Well, I had to do my research because I didn't know anything about it. A fruit, a citrus fruit native to Australia, which is prominently featured in the latest Goldfield and Banks fragrance called Bohemian Lime. But when I first heard about Bohemian Lime, I thought, okay, they're using lime, the lime that we're typically used to, found in, you know, drinks like margaritas. But nope, this features Australian finger lime. Well, today in this Saffron Bond review video, I'm going to tell you all about Bohemian Lime and a little bit about Australian finger lime. And if you are a subscriber of this channel from the USA, EU, UK, and Australia, you'll have a chance at winning a full bottle of Bohemian Lime. So if you're curious to discover this one, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sebastian with Small and Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, Bohemian Lime. This is the latest release from the Goldfield and Banks house. They are from Australia and they focus on uh, ingredients or fruits or plants or whatever they can get that's native to Australia. And today it features Australian finger lime. Very, very unique fruit and I'm very, very curious to actually experience it because I've never held one in my hand and I'm, I'm very, very touchy. I like to, you know, touch fruits and vegetables and things like that, smell them and get an idea of how they smell. But I feel like this one actually captures whatever the idea of the Australian finger lime is perfectly here because in the end it's limey, it's citrusy, but there's some unique twists with this particular citrus fruit and I'm going to tell you all about it. But before we do that, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So this bottle was sent to me by Lucky Scent and the fragrances are now sold at Lucky Scent. I have a link in the info box. You can go there and find out all about this one. And if you end up making a purchase of any fragrances from this house, Goldfield and Banks, you do get a 7.5 ml mini bottle of Bohemian Lime. You just have to put in a code Bohemian when you're checking out. The, the opinion's all my own and I'm really enjoying this one because you know, I think it's perfect time for this fragrance and uh, it's a crowd pleaser. If you guys like crowd pleasers, uh, then uh, definitely this is one for you to check out. And the reason I put Lime Ventus on my thumbnail because, you know, when I first smelled this, it started hinting at Aventus a little bit. And I don't want to compare it to Aventus, but it did for the first few times. But the more I wore it, the more I experienced it, it actually doesn't really smell too much like Aventus, but it does come to my mind. But what's the deal with this one? Goldfield and Banks Bohemian Lime is a 2020 launch. A 100 ml bottle like this is $185. They call this a perfume concentrate, and it's created at Givaudan, which has the oils to create the fragrance which features this Australian finger lime. It is a, a native fruit to Australia as I said and when you look at the fruit it doesn't look like your typical lime. It's kind of you know fing like finger shaped and when you open it up inside there's like caviar. So I was very curious. I'm really really interested and intrigued with this fruit but I did look it up. It's not very easy to get here in the States uh, and it is expensive if you can get it. But that's all I could say about Australian finger lime. I've never experienced it myself but now I'm very very curious. What we have for notes here are Australian finger lime, bergamot, coriander, atlas cedar, vetiver, and Australian sandalwood. Again, uh, there is that light uh, crowd-pleasing quality that uh, is reminiscent of Aventus a little bit, but as I said, the more I kept wearing this one, the more it didn't remind me of Aventus. But in the background, it does kind of have that fragrance that's really like a very pleasant, clean, crisp, fresh, citrusy, woody combination. And I think that's what really uh, reminds me of uh, the Juventus thing, but it, it's not. As I said, the more I wear it, the less it reminds me of uh, Aventus, but it kind of hints at it. What this one does for me is, the more I smell it on me, uh, even though it's not credited, I get a very gingery vibe, almost like ginger ale. I don't know if you've ever opened up ginger ale, a can of it, or even, you know, just a regular soda like Coke or something. You open that up, uh, that effervescent quality that you hear, the sparkles, this is so prominent for me here. It's almost like whenever I wear it, it's like everything is just shining and popping and crackling. It's just because it's almost like um, a ginger ale, like you just opened it up. But I'm gonna take it a little further than that. For me, this all, all really, really reminds me of a very gingery Moscow mule. Slightly boozy, very, very lightly boozy because things like vodka and things like that don't have too much of a smell for me. But I think the whole experience is, is slightly giving me a, a, a very Moscow 
meal kind of experience, but it really does remind me of a Moscow mule. Uh, so the fragrance starts off with this re really citrusy blast. In fact, the whole fragrance is very, very citrusy, and I feel like they have a really nice prominent amount of that Australian finger lime along with a very, very juicy bergamot. Those two, I, I think they're pretty much the main players, uh, but uh, they do actually vanish after a while. They wouldn't call it Bohemian Lime if Australian Finger Lime was not the star of the show because it is. What happens with this one is it settles to a sandal woodiness uh, down below. And then also, the spiciness comes through of the coriander. Now, coriander is a note that I don't see too much appearing in fragrances, but it's prominent here. And as a smell, the leaves themselves are very pungent, but actually as a seed, it's very floral. So there are some floral touches in there and uh, meshed with the citruses and all that good stuff. It's really, really great concoction or a fusion. I just don't know why I'm getting this gingery effect here. I have a feeling it's just whatever notes are used here. I think it's the, the, the finger lime, the bergamot, the coriander, and that sandalwood to just kind of make a very ginger, uh, gingery kind of experience because it's very zingy. It's very ex like extremely zingy uh, that comes to mind. So it's like a fusion of spices and uh, citruses together and uh, it, it just comes off very zingy. And that's kind of why I feel like it reminds me of a Moscow meal, the smell of it. And when I put my nose to my hands, that's what it reminds me of. It's very, very interesting. No Aventus like uh, smells on me, but when you first smell it, it kind of re reminds you of that. And I keep bringing it up. Uh, I think that's what people are going to um, say with this fragrance. It's like, oh, it smells like Aventus or something. But give it a try, wear it a few times, because once you, you know, experience a little bit, you're going to get past the whole Aventus thing, and it's going to be something very, very unique. And again, I'll say this, it does remind me of a Moscow meal because it's very gingery. Something about it is very, very gingery. And if you've never seen the recipe for a Moscow meal, it's usually ginger or ginger beer or ginger ale with uh, lime, of course. You know, we have the Australian finger lime here. And uh, there's some mint added to it as well. And I feel like the coriander is replacing the mint. And uh, it smells great. It's really, really a juicy, really citrusy, woody, aromatic kind of an experience. Green qualities come to mind, but it's very, very effervescent. And that sound, just when you when you hear, uh, when you open up a can of Coke or something, that just sound comes to mind completely. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Bohemian Lime. Guys, are you familiar with this house called Field and Banks? Are you aware of this new release from the house? But if you want to participate in our full bottle giveaway of Bohemian Lime, there's a link to Safra Bon in the info box. Click that and head over there and follow their rules. And then come back here and let me know what your thoughts are on this fragrance or the entire house also Goldfield and Banks. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you get to try this. It's a crowd pleaser. I feel like that's what it's going to become once I start wearing it around people. As I said, I'm not, I haven't worn it around people, but it's that kind of a fragrance. There's a, you know, a genre of crowd pleasers. It's very, very pleasant. It's very, very inviting. When I put my nose on it, I just like, you know, it's, it just makes me happy and that's the kind of fragrance this is. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this particular release. Put a comment down below. Other than that, thanks so much for watching today. Please do like this video. Please Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.